Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. I'm so glad to see you guys. Here's something that you might not know about me. Yes, I can roll my R's really, really well. But that's not the best part about me, guys. A lot of people might not really know that I am part of the Fox Next and Void program. So what does that actually mean? All right, so being part of the Fox Next Envoy program means that I actually get early access to uh, upcoming characters, updates, changes, reworks, all kinds of things like that when there's a new update coming out. And in turn, I'm able to make a video about it and share with all you lovely people. Now, before you go off running to your grandma and telling her how cool you are, because you know me, which you totally are. Keep in mind, guys, I'm under an NDA, which means I can't share any of the stuff uh, before the embargo is lifted, which is right now. If you're watching this video, the embargo has been lifted. We're probably in an update right now. So we're probably watching this video together, sitting back, drinking a cold one. Here's to you guys for being such cool sports. So as someone once told someone else, and I was watching it, with great power comes great responsibility, guys. So I have a responsibility to all you guys that follow me, that subscribe to my channel, to share this great information with you in the only way that I know how to do it. Video format. So this video is going to be all about the update that we are into right now. This update is amazing, guys. I got so much information to share with you. So many reworks that are coming. Plus announcing Agent Colston is coming out. This is incredible. The AIM rework. Graviton. Invisible women. Oh my god. There's just so many things happening. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea I'm literally shaking my boots. So be sure to drop a like for this video guys Let Fox Next know that your boy is giving it to you the only way that you guys want it long and hard So this video is probably gonna be long and it's gonna be really hard to watch <laughs> But anyways guys be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next time I do early access on the update and all the other Marvel Strike Force videos that I make all the time So without any further ado, let's get right into the updates Alright guys, so this update is actually one of the best updates we've had in a while here. We've got three new characters that are dropping into the game. We've got the legendary Sue Storm, aka Invisible Woman, so make sure you guys prep your Sinister Six ready for her. We've got Graviton, the leader of AIM. We've got all of the AIM rework, which we're going to dig into a little bit later. Plus, we got Agent Coulson, which is also going to be coming out this update. Now, I've looked at all their kits, guys. They're all amazing. I'm impressed with every single one of them. I can't wait to start using the A-Team. Whoever thought would be saying, I can't wait to use the A-Team. <laughs> but it's here, guys. It's happening. So keep in mind, guys, for the purposes of this video, all characters are level 70. Seven stars, only one red star. Gear tier 13. And all abilities have been fully enhanced. 777. Five, all right, keep that in mind. So let's begin the hero analysis with Agent Coulson, guys. I know everybody's crazy excited about Agent Coulson. I'm really excited. He's going to completely change the shield team as we know it. So let's take a look at his abilities here and see where he's going to fit in the best. Starting off with his basic Night Night Gun, attack primary target for 230% damage plus chain two to four adjacent targets for 180% damage. Counter attacks breaks this chain. Change bar of primary and secondary targets by negative 20%. All right, as a basic ability, guys, this is actually really, really good right here. It's going to do a ton of damage here. It's going to hit a minimum of two targets, a maximum of four. Now, it does kind of suck that the chain can be broken by a counter attack. But nonetheless, the first two targets are going to get a negative 20% decrease in speed, which is huge. That's a big deal, guys. Trust me, anytime you can affect the speed bar by a negative number, that's incredible. So for a basic attack, it's really, really powerful. Now his special, Amp Punch. It's a 5 energy cost. It starts at 5. Attack primary target for 200% damage. Attack all other enemies for 150% damage. So that is actually a pretty decent ability here. AoE damage on his special. That's pretty cool, but it doesn't stop there. On war defense, transfer four positive effects from primary target to all non-minion shield allies. Flip all positive effects on primary target. <laughs> what? Wow. Also, remove all positive effects from all allies. Apply slow to all tech enemies. Alright, so there's a ton going on right here, guys. First of all, right off the bat here, you can see that Agent Coulson is a alliance war defense character which means that all of a sudden the shield team is alliance war defense meta it is going to be a tricky tricky team to deal with in a war on war defense it's going to be a pain in the ass to face let's face it but let's go back and break this ability down a little further here so when you put them on defense it's going to transfer four positive effects from the target 
to all non minion shield allies so that is where the trick comes into play guys here because now this all of a sudden makes quake nick fury hawkeye captain america black widow all non minion shield allies are going to be able to get those positive effects which is huge and then on top of that it's going to also flip the positive effects from the time rate program so that is huge right there not only for the effect that it's going to have but also what type of teams you're going to be running on alliance war defense now are you going to break up the nick fury and shield minion teams is that team null and void now because most of the shield are going to go onto defense there's so many questions that come up with this right now remove all positive effects from all enemies apply slow to all tech enemies so that one right there just makes you think right away the power armor if you're using them on offense against agent colson and shield it's going to be a little bit tough here with slow but we'll have to investigate that a lot more further boy that was a lot to handle guys and that's only special here let's move on to his ultimate ability teamwork it's a seven energy ability it starts up with seven apply offense up to all shield allies on war defense clear all positive effects from the enemy with the most damage apply defense down and taunt to the enemy with the most damage call two allies with the most damage to attack the enemy with the most damage okay attack all enemies for 280 percent damage all right let's rewind that a little bit guys because there's a lot of most damage being done here so first off the bat is going to apply offense up to all shield allies so since this starts off with full energy that means that this is the first ability that agent colson is going to apply so all of your shield allies are going to get offense off right off the bat not only that it's going to clear all positive effects from the enemy with the most damage so whoever your highest your opponent's highest dps damage dealer is it's going to clear that off, apply defense down, and taunt on that enemy with the most damage. And then it's going to call two allies with the most damage on your team to attack that opponent. Which means it's basically going to destroy that enemy. And that is huge, guys, in war offense. Because if you're attacking into uh, Colson here with shield, it's going to be tough. Because he's going to basically destroy your highest DPS hero right off the bat. And then he's also going to attack everybody else for 280% damage. Wow. This seems incredible, guys. Now, let's take a look at his passive, the agent. If Colson drops below 50% health, change speed bar by 60% for shield medic. All right, so it seems like shield medic is an absolute must-have when you're using agent Colson. On war defense, gain 40% max health. Shield allies gain 40% max health. On spawn, apply immunity to all shield allies, gain 120% resistance. And shield allies gain 100% 20 percent resistance so if you can't already tell by now guys this guy is an absolute beast on war defense so he's going to be on everybody's war defense right now it's going to be a pain in the butt to go against agent colson here in shield but what i'm seeing from just looking at his abilities right now the good thing is is he doesn't have to be with shield minions which means that you can save your shield minions for nick fury and the shield minions take shield medic off that team put shield medic with agent colson plus the rest of the shield members and that could actually be a really tough team to go against in war defense here but there's going to be a lot of testing and trial and error and, and so we can get a good team going on over here but right off the bat guys it's very impressive i'm loving what i'm seeing from agent colson here and i really can't wait to put this guy on my war defense now speaking of shield guys there's also a couple of minor changes that are coming up with this update as well so let's just break them down a little bit the first change is nick fury in war shield minions and nick fury buffs assault crit fury seal operatives focus etc will also affect agent colson next up is shield medic her special will 100 revive colson if he is dead in addition her normal 20 percent chance to revive a shield ally her special now heals all shield for bonus health not just shield minions okay so they're kind of changing shield medic here to be more of a shield character more than a shield minion character which is pretty cool and her chemistry with colson is incredible guys if colson dies she will automatically revive him on top of her 20 percent chance to revive a shield ally so she could potentially revive two allies at once which is insane and then she's gonna be healing everybody else as well so this is really really cool it changes shield medic quite a bit now shield medic is a lot more useful now in war defense so i'm loving what i'm seeing from that and the final minor change is quake her special now will also apply slow so that's pretty cool it's tiny it's small but it could make a little bit of a difference here if you especially if you put her on your alliance war defense that's kind of what i'm envisioning her to be into right now 
Now, let's talk about the Wolverine changes that are coming to the game, guys. And it's pretty cool. I like these changes that are happening. Let's break them down a little bit here. I'm going to show you guys what the rework is all about. And then uh, we'll see how Wolverine is going to fit into the game here. So, first off, let's begin with a special. If Phoenix is an ally, the primary target takes increased damage. So, increased damage if you're running him with Phoenix, which is pretty cool. If Psylike is an ally, this attack cannot be countered attacked. All right, though, that one is actually really, really cool because his special is going to actually chain all the way up to like five heroes. So if you're running him with Psylocke, which you do, obviously, in the X-Men, then this cannot be countered. So he's going to hit up everybody else. And if Phoenix is on the field as well, the primary target is going to take a lot more damage. Also, what they've included is if Cyclops is an ally, all secondary attacks has a 100% chance to crit. So... Think about it real quick. The first target is going to get increased damage. It cannot miss for everybody else. It cannot be countered, so it's going to keep continuing. And then it's going to be 100% crit on, on secondary attacks. So I actually like this uh, special rework here, guys. Uh, they're making it so you want to keep your Wolverine on the X-Men team so badly now. It's going to be impossible. The idea before was change Wolverine for Cyclops as soon as he come around. But now... You kind of have to keep him there uh, because of these bonuses that he gets. So it's going to be really, really tough here. Ugh. And then another change that they added is to his passive. He gains 5% speed for each X-Men ally. So that's 20% speed as well. It's going to be tough to make a decision on who you want to keep out of your X-Men team at this point, guys. Because all this speed increase and then this bonus damage increase on Wolverine is actually pretty cool. You would miss out on quite a bit if you put him on another team here. But it's still probably the one hero that you have to leave out when Cyclops comes around because who else can you leave out? It's just nobody else that you can take out out of that team right now. But we'll take a look and see what he does up to when Cyclops is released. We don't know anything about that yet. But this definitely helps out Wolverine quite a bit here. So I'm happy about this little change here. Okay, guys, now that we got the shield minor changes out of the way here, what do you guys say we go into the, some big changes? That's right, the aim rework is upon us here with Graviton release. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's get right into the aim rework and check out Graviton's abilities. All right, so I'm really excited about Graviton, guys, here. Let's go ahead. Let's break down these abilities and see what this guy is going to be all about and, and how we're going to be able to use them. Let's begin with his basic here, Gravity Well. Attack the primary target for 250% damage and bonus attack for 100 percent damage per negative effect on the target all right that's actually a really great ability guys here as a basic 250 percent damage plus 100 percent per negative effect especially when it's on this kind of a team they're spreading negative effects all over the place this could be devastating and potentially could hit up to three four hundred percent damage at a point later in the game so that's why i think this is a pretty cool basic now let's go ahead and check out his special crushing force three energy ability here and it starts off full attack the primary target for 300 percent damage apply two slows up to a maximum of five to the primary target and adjacent target if scientist supreme is an ally apply bleed on the primary target and adjacent targets as well all right so this is actually pretty cool because it gives you a little bit of synergy here with Scientist Supreme. Now without Scientist Supreme, 300% damage plus two slows on its own is pretty good. It's okay. It's not that great. But when you include Scientist Supreme in there, you get two slows. Plus you get the bleeds in there as well. So there's synergy right off the bat here. And applying negative effects to your opponents, as you guys can already see, is a great thing to have on this team. So nice special here. Let's move on to... Singularity, his ultimate, attack the primary target for 300% damage, 100% additional damage per negative effect, and apply stun? Oh my god, this ability is insane. Wow, this is basically his basic, just on steroids. This is a phenomenal ability, guys. So this is going to cost 6 ability energy, which makes sense. It's so powerful. But, first of all, not many heroes in the game can apply a stun right off the bat here, guys. So that's really, really good right here. 300% damage is great, but then 100% extra per negative effect. Wow, this is phenomenal here. What a great ability here, guys. Now, the only thing that I can see from this ability here is since it starts full, you might not want to use this ability on your first turn because you're not going to get that 100% additional damage per negative effect right off the bat. I mean... How many enemies start off a battle with negative effects? Now, we'll take a look at the uh, the aim and see what's going to happen in the battle, depending on who you put on your team. But I will suggest Crushing Force to start off the, the, the battle, and then you can use Singularity here 
to completely destroy him and that's pretty phenomenal here so i love this ability here quite a bit guys this is a great ability now let's take a look at his passive weight of the world when an enemy drops below 50 percent health increase the duration of their negative effect by one up to a maximum of five okay that's actually pretty cool aim minion allies are going to get 20 percent damage and then aim a minion allies will gain 20 percent max health as well all right so those are all really really damn good things right there but it doesn't even stop there in war on turn change the speed bar of the enemy with the highest speed by negative 25 percent and then in war also when an enemy drops below 75 percent health apply disrupt it whoa okay so both are really really good dang i love it so every turn that this guy is going to go he's going to take away 25 percent of the speed bar to your opponent with the highest speed which is good but then this one here once somebody drops below 75 percent health apply disrupted which means it's going to be really hard for your opponents to save that hero there and i'm kind of thinking about crossbones right here guys i'm not sure if disrupted is going to apply before his death proof but if crossbones explodes and this applies once you know once he goes down below 75 percent health this disrupted applies that it's, it's gonna negate his death proofs which means that he's gonna explode and die right off the bat here so that's something i'm gonna tamper with and try out and let you guys know at a later video but it's pretty cool now all in all i really like this guy's ability here and once we go into the rest of the aim reworks here you're gonna see that these are actually gonna be enhanced a lot further because there's gonna be so many negative effects that he's gonna be punching up quite a bit so all in all i'm liking graviton here i'm glad he's out and i'm glad i can finally use the aim guy okay moving on to the next hero guys scientist supreme let's take a look at how they re rework scientist supreme and uh what she's gonna be all about now so her basic serum pistol attack primary target for 240 percent damage apply two random negative effects to the primary target okay so looking at the difference between this ability to where it was to where it is now the only difference is they've increased the damage output by another 80 percent which is pretty cool does a little bit more damage still applies the two random negative effects as it did before so overall not a huge rework on this ability here now let's check out our special field trials flip four negative effects into positive effects from all allies apply two regenerations to self and all aim allies increase duration of positive effects on self and all aim allies by one up to a maximum of three that's actually reworked quite a bit here guys so it used to flip four negative effects into positive effects before but now it's also going to apply two regens to self and all your aim allies and then it's going to increase the duration of positive effects on self and all aim, uh, and all your allies by one so really really cool rework here this is actually a pretty big ability you guys on this team because they're gonna have so many negative effects and she's gonna flip them around so this ability is very important on this team so i'm liking what i'm seeing for scientist supreme so far here all right let's take a look at our ultimate here retro vaccination heal all allies for 3500 health plus 15 percent of this character's max health all right that's actually pretty damn good apply two to three random negative effects to all non-aim allies and all enemies for two turns all right that's actually pretty damn good as well because when the hell are you ever going to use this chick without aim on the team so that's crucial there because she's always going to be with aim so it's never going to apply on her team but it's going to give your opponents two negative effects for two turns D that's really good right there and then also it's going to gain 50 percent extra focus per aim ally for this attack which is going to be about another 200% focus every single time. So I love this ability here. It's going to heal. It's going to apply two to three random negative effects. And the focus is so high that they can't resist it as well. So think of all of the negative abilities that, that she's going to apply on your opponents here that Graviton is going to take advantage of by punching them right in the face and then 100% more bonus attack here. So, wow, great synergy there. This seems incredible. I love the rework with Scientist Supreme here. All right, let's take a look at a passive Mad Science here. On spawn, change speed bar by 10% plus 10% per aim ally oh my god that's insane right there so that's gonna be about 50 percent speed bar change on turn 25 percent chance to revive an ally with 20 percent max health aim allies revive with 30 percent max instead on turn grant one to two ability energy to all aim allies with a negative effect wow that's a huge change from where it was before i mean uh before all she would do is give give that 25 percent chance to revive and then uh with 30 percent 
of the max health. Now they added a speed bar increase per aim ally on the field. Plus on turn, she's going to grant 1 to 2 ability energy to all aim allies with negative effects. This is phenomenal, guys. There's going to be a ton of negative effects on them. But she's also going to flip them around here as well. So you're going to have to play around and see how you're going to use this team. It's very tricky when to, when to give your opponents negative effects and when to keep them so she can give you abilities. So it's going to be a little bit fun to play around with and check it out now let's get to the rest of these aim minions so the first aim minion rework we're going to take a look at is aim security guys because aim security is supposed to keep the team secure and let's break our abilities down here so the basic is called takedown attack primary target for 270 percent damage if ability blocked attack primary target for 470 percent damage instead apply slow all right, so that's a pretty simple and common basic there, guys. 270% damage is actually pretty good. If she's got ability block, 470% damage, that's even better. That's pretty phenomenal there. And then it's going to apply as slow, which is okay. So all in all, not a crazy uh, ability there. So all that really happened here is they gave her an extra 200% increase in damage if she gets ability block. Now, let's move on to her special, Charge Capacitor. It's a 3 energy ability. Starts off full, gain taunt for one turn, plus slow for two turns, heal self and adjacent aim allies for 10,000 health, plus 10% of max health, clear, speed up on self. Okay, so this is a little weird ability here because she's going to clear speed up on herself and you're thinking, why would you want that? She's getting rid of a positive effect here, but it makes a lot of sense guys because she's going to gain taunt and when we take a look at her passive ability here, this is exactly why you don't want her to have speed up and you don't want her to keep attacking. You want her to actually not attack as much as possible because of her passive. So let's just go ahead. Let's jump into the passive here where it all kind of makes sense here. So her passive is immunization. When attacked, if Scientist Supreme is an ally and above 75% health, transfer one negative effect from self and each aim ally to the attacking enemy. That is phenomenal, guys. Wow, that ability right there is pretty dang good powerful so if you look at what this ability was before it just all she did was gain 10 percent max health and 10 percent resistance now it's just gone through the roof she still has the team uh 10 percent max health and 10 percent and 15 percent resistance i mean but so much more is happening so every time she gets attacked now she's going to gain taunt so she will be getting attacked you don't want her to speed up because you want them to attack her every time that she gets attacked and scientist supreme is above 75 percent health um this is phenomenal. All your negative effects get transferred onto that attacking enemy. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. I love aim security here. I love pairing her up next to Scientist Supreme because not only is her passive going to be so much better, but she will also heal herself and adjacent aim allies. So you probably want to put her close to uh, Scientist Supreme there so she can give her some extra health. So the pairing here as well is really, really great. Just like Graviton and Scientist Supreme have some great synergy. Aim Security and Scientist Supreme have some great synergy as well. So this is uh, looking pretty good so far here. So let's go on to the next minion. All right, so next up is Aim Assaulter, guys. Uh, let's begin with this basic here. Submachine Gun. Attack primary target for 160% damage and applied bleed for two turns. So the only thing they did is they extended the bleed for one extra turn, which is good. Applying bleed on your opponent is always a great thing in this game. So I like that right there. Let's go into a special here. Hyperdose. It's a 3 energy ability. Attack primary target for 250% damage. If this character has a negative effect, bonus attack the primary target for 125% per negative effect on the target. Holy scraboli. This is exactly like Graviton's ability too. But except it does 125% damage per negative effect gain speed up for four turns that's insane right there guys a four turn speed up so this ability is pretty cool on this team as well guys because assaulter is going to be able to go up a lot more often because of his speed up and do a ton of damage to your opponent here now let's go ahead and check out the passive here it's called juicer on turn change speed bar by 20 percent for self and adjacent aim allies gain 50 percent damage and 50 percent max health wow that's incredible guys 20 percent speed bar increase is really really good that's actually phenomenal there and he applies it to adjacent aim allies so overall i'm not crazy impressed with assaulter here assaulter is the first minion right now that i've come across that i might 
think about not including on the team so far. So you want to have Graviton, Scientist Supreme, I really like. I like Security. Assaulter, what I'm seeing from right now, maybe it's the first character that I want to keep off this team right now. And uh, But we'll see what happens, guys. There's a few more that we have to cover here. So let's go ahead to the next one. All right, so next up, we have Aim Infector. Starting off with the basic puncture, attack primary target for 270% damage, transfer all negative effects on this character to the primary target, plus apply a random negative effect. Whoa! On his basic, he does that? That's actually dope. Really, really cool. Transfer all negative effects, plus a random effect? Phenomenal, I love that right there. Now let's check out his special biohazard. A three energy ability change speed bar by 75%, heal self for 10,000 plus 20% of max health gain two counters apply two counters to adjacent aim allies wow guys every time i read one of these abilities here all i can see is how the heck are we going to pair these heroes up on the battlefield because they only help out adjacent aim allies they don't help out the whole team which is so crucial into what positions you want to put these heroes who do you want to have counter who do you want to get extra health who do you want to get some damage this is phenomenal. It's so much fun to think about these things. I love theory crafting here. So sorry I'm rambling on here, guys. It's just things that are going through my mind as I'm reading these abilities here. So first of all, changing speed bar by 75% is a lot. That's awesome. That means he's pretty much going to be able to go again very soon. Heal himself and gain two counters and then uh, up, uh, apply the counter to Jason Ally. So this is a pretty damn good ability right here, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's Take a look at his passive metabolism here. On turn, gain two random negative effects for two turns. Gain 10% speed, gain 50% health. That is awesome, but it doesn't stop there. On turn, if offense down, gain offense up for two turns. If you have def uh, defense down, you're going to get defense up. And if you have slow, you're going to get speed up. So all negative effects is going to turn into positive effects for two turns every turn that it's his turn now think about it speed up on this hero he's gonna gain speed he's gonna be able to go up quite often here and then he's gonna be getting a lot of positive effects getting turned around here so this is pretty dope i love what i'm seeing from him here and i can't wait to start using this guy on the battlefield here so let's check out the next one next up we have aim researcher Basic ability, Wounding Shot. Attack primary target for 280% damage, plus apply offense down for one turn. Alright, doesn't blow you away, but it gets the job done here. Uh, playing offense down always can help. Now, special ability, Surgery Drone. Heal lowest health ally and adjacent allies for 7,000 health. 50% of this character's max health, plus flip bleed on lowest health ally and adjacent allies. Whoa, am I seeing some kind of counter to Brotherhood here with the Bleeds or Minerva here? Hmm, something is in the works right now, so we can theorycraft here with the Researcher. But that's for a later video, guys. Let's keep going here. Let's take a look at the passive Antidote. On turn, choose one random ally to apply one random positive effect from the, from the list. Offense up, defense up, speed up, regen, death proof, deflect. If M... Um, if ally is aimed, then apply two random positive effects. Wow, this is awesome. I love this. When a negative effect is applied to an aim ally, fill uh, this character's speed bar by 20%. All right, so Researcher, I love quite a bit here, guys. I think Researcher definitely has to be part of this team. This is dope. On turn, apply two random positive effects so you definitely want to have him on a full aim team because it's going to be a random hero that he chooses so if it's not an aim it'll only be one positive effect which could be useful but you want it to be aim because you want it uh, to, to be two positive random effects so nice i like that a lot and then whenever a negative effect is applied to an aim ally it's going to fill aim researchers uh, speed bar by 20 percent and we already know how many negative effects he's applied on them so Really, really cool, guys. I love what I'm seeing here. I can just picture Aim Researcher here attacking, applying defense down, and then healing himself and other people around him, flipping bleeds, and then applying all these crazy uh, positive effects to everybody. So a great support hero on this team. This is getting trickier and trickier to see what you're going to use on the team, guys. Now let's go on to Aim Monstrosity. So the basic ability for Aim Monstrosity is called Bash. Attack primary target for 280% damage. Apply defense down. Very cool. 100 280% damage is quite a bit, and then applying defense down also helps. Uh, his special ability, Sudden Evolution, gain offense up 
plus apply offense up to adjacent aim allies for three turns. Attack primary target for 300% damage. This cannot miss. Oh my god. This ability is insanely powerful. Gain offense up. Apply offense up to your adjacent allies. Are you kidding me right now? For three turns and attack primary target for 300% damage. Wow. And it can't miss. Now, no, guys, keep in mind a, a little hint here, a little tip here. The offense up is only going to apply before he attacks only at level 7. So you got to get this ability to level 7 in order to get the offense up before he can attack for that 300% damage, all right? So keep that in mind. If it's not, then he's going to attack and then gain the offense up, which can make a big difference on how hard this guy can hit. But I still love this ability here. This is phenomenal, and I think this is worth probably t4ing right away here that i can think about now let's jump to his passive growth spurt because that's all this guy needed a growth spurt on spawn gain defense down on turn heal for 20 percent of max health so that kind of sucks that he spawns with uh defense down here but on turn he's gonna heal which is good and then uh, that defense down can always be flipped or be transferred to your opponents here by so many of these abilities here guys and there's so much to think about so many different units to use here it is incredible i actually am pretty excited about aim there's so much that i want to do here so we got five minions we've got scientist supreme and we've got graviton that's seven total aim heroes in the game right now so it's gonna be tough to see which three we're gonna pair with graviton and scientist supreme which two are gonna be left out and then where are we gonna put those other two heroes what room do they have in the game so there's a lot of theory crafting to go on here guys so i'll be doing the theory crafting in the background here playing with the game i know you guys are going to be doing the same out there so that'll pretty much be it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed that i put in a lot of work for this video guys uh, leave a thumbs up if you didn't already make sure you guys subscribe and let's wait for this great update to come out so we can start playing with these heroes here we're really really excited and that's pretty much it guys i just want to say thank you again guys i will catch you on the next video till then have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are around the world.